yeah, it's 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 a fascinating world, and I I I think that um, you know, look, that's the thing is that if if we if we do this right in the markets, there's nobody putting their finger on the scale and like tilting the game uh, one way or the other. And the Wall Street bets guys have just as much right to be in the markets as Melvin Capital does. And Melvin Capital has just as much right to be in the markets as Wall Street bets does. And um, you know, for markets to work, there have to be winners and losers. That's how markets work. And so, um, you know, you you uh, you look at that and you go um, to again to to be in a position where we change the rules of the game um, and 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 effectively, you know, turn off one side of the trade. It's not a good look. It's not a good look. At, you know, we've talked about it about Robinhood, but frankly, it's not a good look for DTC. It's not a good look for any of the prime brokers. It's not a good look for any of the firms, the intermediaries, uh, the market makers, the exchangers. It's not a good look for anybody because, you know, why markets need to have consistent rules um, to operate well. And if the rules are changing in the middle of the game, that's a problem. Somebody posted a Twitter thread, by the way, on one of the um, fantastic uh, short squeezes in history, which was, um, you know, uh, same, same, very similar kind of circumstances was, um, you know, defeated by a rules change, right? And it was, um, apparently it's, it's, it's in a book. I'll, I'll have to see if I can track down the book, but um, it, it's, it's like a book with like 10 great stories about the market. But one of them is about the short squeeze with Piggly Wiggly. Right. So <laughs> Piggly Wiggly was one of the first <laughs> a, a supermarket model stock, classic American story. <laughs> right. But but they franchised in some states and apparently the franchisees hadn't done super well. So all the corporate stores were doing great, but a few of the franchisees hadn't done well and were closing. And so, um, you know, somebody picked that up and was like injecting lots of rumors that the company was going down and, 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 and created a massive short play on the stock. And this is back before, you know, electronic exchanges. So basically, the guy who, um, you know, I, who'd started and who ran Pig, the Piggly Wiggly uh, got very pissed off about this, took out a $10 million loan, okay, and went and effectively, you know, went to New York and effectively cornered the market on Piggly Wiggly stock right? On all the stock certificates that one could find in the New York City region and effectively cornered the market and drove the stock up um, by like three times its value. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and did it all on this $10 million loan. So, so he's, he's deep in debt. But right? that's a, remember, this is, and, this is in the 1920s. So $10 million is like right, $10 right, right, million right, right. Exactly. It's a lot of money. It's, it's a fortune. And so, um, so he, uh, he, he accomplishes that and effectively, they changed the rules at the last minute and gave the short sellers like two extensions of time to satisfy their, you know, effectively their naked short positions. And, um, you know, and, and ultimately, uh, they were able to round up enough shares out in the hinterland to make good on their short positions, price stock collapsed, and he, he's holding the bag with a $10 million loan. So hmm. uh, filed bankruptcy at some point in the future there. But, um, but it's, you know, like, it's just not how markets should work, that the rules can be changed in the middle of the game. <laughs>